so I didn't like go <coughs> except um okay, all right. There's maybe some writing back here please. So I was um pull out this quote from one of Darwin's notebooks with Mike Eason being talking about this like um it's a challenge to try to think about laws of life or rules of life or norms of life. And um, we have a dimensions project which is called um the parallel processes arise from, sorry, the parallel patterns arise from parallel processes. So that's our version of this question, right? Laws of life. And we studied them in these systems that are marine lakes. So you can consider these to be natural ecological experiments that are largely independent, have been, and have been running for about um, 10 to 6,000 years. When we're coming in at this stage and we're comparing kinds of diversity that are both genetic um, and across the taxa. So what I thought I'd do rather than present what we think of uh, like processing, I thought I'd present patterns. And then as we chat over the next week, you tell me like your interpretations of some of these patterns. Like this is a marine system, they're analogous to terrestrial islands, arguably, but maybe not, right? So how do you interpret these as people don't work in these systems? So this is, these are some data to show patterns in uh, microbes and macroinvertebrates. This is the PCA for microbes, this is the PCA for macroinvertebrates. And essentially, the um, organisms sort of, the community sort of across the same axes that are structured by the same um, environment. So this is essentially it's an oxygen gradient. We go from well oxygenated to low oxygenation, well oxygenated to low oxygenation. And if we look at um, patterns of beta diversity, then this is essentially the one to one line. Um, patterns would be highly similar, highly dissimilar. And we can see that there's a slight um, inequality in the potential. So generally, Microbial communities is less similar than um, the um, macrobial communities, and more open systems tend to be uh, more dissimilar for macrobial versus than for microbes. And then these are some data where I'm trying to look at parallel processes for um, species level patterns and genetic patterns. So here we have a graph that shows geographic distance with community similarities, so essentially species in more places that are more dissimilar distance. So now to be more similar in community, right? Um, there's no relationship between geographic distance and genetic similarity. And so when you think about patterns of species level, community similarity um, versus genetic similarity, there seems to be no relationship there in these systems. 